yeah, that thing's doing pretty well. Uh, I don't know what to say about it, but all of our root crops are doing really well too over there. And um, so too is the corn plot because it still has some root crops in it. It's got some sweet potatoes and some red and white potatoes. And our pumpkins are over there too. So uh, yeah. Um, and well, there's our blueberries. Let's turn your attention over here. You can see I'm already dismantling these uh, high houses, low houses, um, whatever we want to call them. But I am dismantling them one piece at a time. We're going to take all of this metal and maybe some of the framework that's in better shape. And it's going to go up to uh, closer to my house where we're going to build some coops for some chickens. Waste not, want not. Anyway, what are we looking at here? I mean, gosh, there's a lot here. On the left side, that's Dragon Cayenne. It's doing really exceptionally well. A little bit to its right. It's very difficult to tell. That's Ghost. We get a little closer. That's Ghost. And then to the right of this one here, this really lush, 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 lush plant is actually a jalapeno tree. So you can see, basically, they have begun to escape the greenhouse. And even though I'm going to be harvesting tomorrow, I'll try to do a video showing some of that. Um, you know, I got to cut them back so that they fit in the confines of the new greenhouse even. So, uh, yeah, but maybe I can show you down below. There's one of the trunks right there at the base. It's probably about two, two and a half inches around. And um, you can see they're prolific fruit, fruit makers. There's some green peppers in here as well. Got to temporarily support all of this stuff. I was using the framework of the greenhouse to give this stuff support. There's a banana back there. Giant banana peppers. Let's see if we can go through here. They're just beautiful. I mean, the colors are incredible. It's been a lot of years, a lot of hard work I put into this to get these babies like that. Um, it's worth it, you know? It really is. I just love it. Look at this beautiful red pepper. Is that not gorgeous? Ugh, I love it. Some bananas. Maybe I can come over here. There's a nice green one right there. They grow really big on these pepper trees, too. You'll see a good mix of small and large. There's some small ones that are coming in. You can see some over here. Should have been harvested already. And then you can start to see some of the bananas. Oh, bumping the camera. The other side of these cayennes, dragon cayennes. Three different colors, green, red, and purple. And reach in there and show some bananas. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bananas. Beautiful. We'll be eating some of those tonight. There's a pepper in there that I gotta pull out. Looks like it's seen better days. Overripe. It happens. We've been busy. I haven't been able to harvest, as you can see. Let's go over here and check this other one out. Okay. Some eggplants growing right there too. There's a nice happy one under there. There's a few more in there. There's a baby jalapeno from this year, grown in the shadow of its mom. And it's already producing beautifully. We've got extreme pollination efficiency here. I love that. But there's its mom. See her? All of that. Amazing. Her canopy is vast. Beautiful butterfly up there. Go around the other side. A little bit of sunlight on here, you can see. I've got to prune these things down. They're just a little bit on the large size, a little bit on the full size over the top if they don't fit in this new seven and a half inch greenhouse and I can't spread them out, you know, I'll just trim them down. And they'll be fine. They'll come back next year. Take a look at the trunk of this one. Isn't that beautiful? It is so, 
so thick. And Hattie's over there. But anyway, as I was saying, these two greenhouses are coming down. They served us well. Oh, cucumbers out of season. Look at how lush they are growing in my compost pile. Wow. This is the compost pile we used to heat the greenhouses with. And now this is just going to be one giant greenhouse. Y'all tell me what you think about growing your peppers through the winter. I think it's a waste of time. I'm picking these things all year long. It'll be nine degrees outside. They're still growing in here, and I'm still harvesting off of them. And while they may not be directly underneath the sun because there's plastic between the sun and them, does it look like these peppers are struggling to achieve anything? Uh -uh. I don't know. I'm just babbling again because I really didn't have anything sensible to talk about. Love you all, all for following my journey, for being a part of it. And, um, you know, I want to reciprocate by staying current and giving you all an idea of exactly what's going on here so you can, uh, you know, peek in and see how other folks are doing it. But uh, break it all down. Give everybody bird's eye view here as soon as we get that greenhouse in place. But for now, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for listening to Creedmoor chat about these things. And thank you all for letting me show you some of what is just so gorgeous in my world. Peace. And God be with you. Stay blessed.